I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'll assume you know absolutely nothing. So let's start by looking at the guitar. Okay. You've got the head with all your tuning pegs. You've got the neck. You've got the body. You've got this nice curvy bit here that goes over your thigh. You sit up nice and straight. Okay, don't slouch. I know you've seen loads of late rock stars and pop stars slouching around. You can do that when you're famous. You want to sit up straight, nice straight back and feet on the floor, okay? Now, that's it, that's how you hold the guitar. Don't do this. I see a lot of people when they're trying to learn, they're sort of trying to look over the top and they end up sliding the guitar away from themselves. Don't do that, it's gotta be up straight. You can still have a little peak, that's okay, but just keep the guitar flat and straight and sort of tucked into your body. Arm comes over the top, you give it a hug and the left hand does all lots of fancy things later on and the right hand plucks the strings. Which brings me on to our next point, the two most important things you know, need to know is what are strings and what are frets. So let's do strings first, okay? Your strings are these things. There they are. You've got six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least I hope you've got six of them. If you've got more or less, you haven't got a normal guitar. Okay, so that's strings. They, they're given letter names, which we'll go over later. And then the other thing we've got to know is frets. Now frets are these metal lines that you see going all the way up the neck. Spell F-R-E-T. Um, frets are given numbers. So this here, that's fret number one. Number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so on. When you hold down a fret, you want to make sure that you're pinching not on top of the metal, but next to it, okay? Right next to it, not on top of the metal, next to it, just to the left. So let's start with a little exercise. We're gonna find, well, first of all, let's imagine we've only got this string, the string closest to the floor. So if you're left-handed, right-handed, whatever, whichever string is closest to the floor, that's the only string we're gonna play for now. And we're gonna find fret number three. Okay, so I count along, I go one, two, three. I'm gonna hold it down, just pinch down the string with the tip of my finger, using my thumb at the back of the fretboard to sort of push against, and I'm just not on the metal next to it, just there, just to the left. And I hold that down, and I can play that note now. Okay, so you haven't got to do that, take a second. See if you can find fret number three, one, two, three. Hold it down with the tip of your finger, and your thumb comes at the back of the fretboard like this, and you're pinching. You're going to kind of sort of pinching, clamping motion. And you hold it down. So fret number three, and then just give it a gentle pluck. There you go, now you've got a note. What we're going to do, we'll do a little experiment here. We're going to see what happens when we move our notes along this way. So we're just going to go up one at a time. You don't have to join in, you can just listen. What we really want is you to focus on listening right now, actually. What's happening to the note? The sound of the note is getting gradually higher. That's right, it's going up. So as we move along the fretboard that way, the notes get higher in pitch. Okay, um, so let's go back to number three. Hold it down. Let's see what happens when you travel that way. I think you've already guessed it. start to go down, they descend. So that way up, that way down. Which is a bit confusing because you're actually just going side to side, but we're listening to the sound. It's the sound which is important. So if you want, you can pause the video now and just have a little experiment. Just find any note along your fretboard and just see what happens when you start moving it one up or one down. Okay, have a little go at that. Right? If you had to go at that now, good. Now obviously you don't have to just move one at a time. You can jump as many as you want. So let's let's do a big jump. Let's go from right now I'm on number seven. Seven. I'm gonna jump up to ten. I'm back to seven. 
Or let's go the other way. I'm going to go seven, I'm going to go five, then three. So I'm going to go down in twos. So I'll do like three blind mics. Okay, so obviously this is all just theory right now. You can have a little play around, but the essentials are that way is up, that way is down. You can move as many or as few as you want and you start to make different tunes, different melodies. Here's one, just for a laugh. We're not going to learn that right now, maybe next week we'll learn that. But um, you can see how it works, you can see how you can start to get a tune from a very simple concept. Okay, now obviously each string works the same way. So let's go, let's go with this string now. Same thing's happening. If I go that way, notes are going down. If I go this way, notes are going up. And that applies to all strings. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's think about what happens with the strings. 